Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be doing um, what sort of time period will Call of Duty 2017 actually be set in? Because there's a lot of speculation that will be in like, the Vietnam War, which is meant to be that one. So basically what I did, I drew like outfits and I'm going to tell you why or why not they might be the... Um, the next time setting. <coughs> so first of all, we've got the um, this like water sort of stuff. This is the um, 18th century to 19th century sort of outfits that British soldiers wore. And yeah, they when they were fighting against the French, this is the sort of stuff I'd wear. But do I think it will actually come to um, Call of Duty 2017? be honest no not really because it's sort of way too old like people wouldn't really like it to be this old i don't think because you see that musket right you take a shot it takes about 12 seconds to reload it if you're like an average person or something i think it's along that sort of um time period to reload so then the next one is the american civil war which i don't really know much about because i'm not american but, um, basically, yeah, I tried to draw an outfit from it, and there I drew, like, a gun. They look pretty similar, and do I think it'll be in this time period? Yet again, not really, because I think it's too early, because, like, the gun takes, like, ages to reload, and there's not really much, sort of, equipment to use, like, really, the only things you can use are, like, um, bombs like grenades that sort of stuff maybe some sort of like smoke but that's it really and there weren't many weapons to use so yeah and then the next one world war one themed so do i think it will be world war one themed um no shall i tell you why because battlefield one was world war one themed and people will just say that it would be a rip-off of Battlefield 1. Because they stole their idea. So yeah, that's why it can't be World War 1. So in the next one, World War 2. Um, recently I've been going on YouTube and I've been looking at some videos that seem to be saying it could be in World War 2. They have been saying World War 1 as well, but I don't think it will be because of Battlefield 1 did that. <clears throat> so... Yeah, I drew like Tommy Gun stuff, and yeah, so I think it could be World War Two. It's possible because it's not that far back that there's not like there's like automatic rifles and stuff, and there's like submachine guns, so that could actually work. You know, but probably shotguns as well. Not too sure. Yeah, they probably were because a long time ago there were blunderbusses which are basically shotguns that can fire a lot of different things, to be honest. So yeah, there were probably shotguns as well. And there were sniper rifles. So yeah, I think there will be, it could be World War Two. And then the next one, which a lot of people have been saying, um, the Vietnam War. So it could be the Vietnam War because it's more like modern that there's like an M16. It's like a really bad drawing of an M16, but I don't care. Huh? And yeah, it's it's not like really old. It's more recent. It's like in the 1960s. Is like what you think of straight away, especially me. I think like 1960s. So yeah, it could be. Um, it could be the Vietnam War, and a lot of people have actually said it has been. So yeah, and then the next one is uh, like present day. So obviously, people there's been rumours because of a tweet that um, someone sent out that it will actually the game will be boots on the ground. So it this is like sort of last time where it could be boots on the ground. So that's entirely possible. And also, I'll put 1980, because that's when the Barrett was invented, which is sort of like a really modern gun. And, yeah. So it could be, it could be the, um, 
it could be like present day and maybe it could be like fighting terrorists or something and last of all just gotta take this sheet off could it be um very futuristic um i really don't think so because they did that sort of boots on the ground leak so it's probably not going to have like these like these um jet packs and also um if it's boots on the ground if it's like really futuristic they probably wouldn't use boots on the ground because um they'd have a lot more technology so they'd probably have enough to use like jet packs and stuff and yeah, it's not like a camouflage sort of outfit because they probably didn't, re they probably won't really bother with that because they'll be like thermal sighting with like the helmets and stuff. <clears throat> so, and also the guns are very realistic. Look, I've not actually drawn a magazine on it because, you know, remember the Ajax from Black Ops 3? Yeah, that like made its own ammo. So, I've got some questions here as well, like as a bonus. Will I get the next Call of Duty? Um, probably not now. It depends what it's like when it comes out. I'll see what it's like. If I like it, then I'll get it. If I don't, then I probably won't get it. Or, also, if there's a remastered game, like Black Ops 2 Remastered or something, I'll, I'll possibly get that. But I don't want them to um, make you buy Infinite Warfare. Well, not Infinite Warfare, it won't be called Infinite Warfare. But I don't want you to have to buy the main game to get the secondary game as well. What time would I like it to be set in? I'd like it to be set in, like, the modern sort of time. So, like this. And that's because... No, not this. This. That's because um, Vietnam War is okay, but there's more modern technology... In the modern day, obviously, but it doesn't go overboard and try and like make you jump around and stuff at like, speeds you don't want to. So, will there be supply drops? Yes, there will be supply drops. It's one hundred percent confirmed. Shall I tell you why? Because that is literally how Activision make their money now. Because you think, um. Activision sell the game, yeah, for about I don't know fifty pounds or something. Well, this pounds because uh, British and stuff. But I don't know how much that is in dollars. I don't want to work it out right now. But yeah, it's like um fifty or sixty quid here. Yeah. So then when people are buying like cod points and stuff, then it's like. They're adding a lot more money to it. Like some people buy so many COD, co COD points that they could probably buy the game twice. And they still wouldn't have paid like the same amount <clears throat> as they'd spent on COD points. So the last one is COD dying. So in like Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare days, it was sort of going downhill. And all this, the supply drops in Advanced Warfare, they were like making it... They were like destroying it. So it was dying, but then Black Ops 3 came out. It was it was sort of going down a bit, but then it stopped. <clears throat> and then people were actually playing the game again. But now it might I think it's dying a bit more again now. And then they've got like the modern modern warfare remastered. But I don't think it's helping too much. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, my paper nearly fell off the um, desk, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, this has been Daniel, and yeah, bye.